Year 12, welcome to Easter. This is probably a little bit of a weird holiday for you because you're not in the position you were in last year where you were year 11. You're not in the position that you're going to be in next year um, where you're year 13 and panicking about exams. But from your year 11 experience, you probably know how you're going to feel in year 13. And you've probably got end of year exams coming up or even AS exams coming up. Now your end of year exams are important. They are much more important than any other end of year exams you've had before. These are the ones that your teachers, that your school are going to be using when they write your predicted grades on your UCAS forms. Or even your actual AS grades when they come to write your UCAS forms. These are important exams, you do need to take them seriously. And you need to take them seriously because um, you need to start your revision for your year 13 exams now. I know I said that when you were in year 10 and you didn't listen to me and you didn't believe me, but I'm really, really hoping you'll believe me this time. What we need to spend this holiday doing is getting good techniques, getting a good um, method in place so that you get used to studying for short periods, taking a break and then changing things, things up. So when the pressure starts to increase in year 13, doing this doesn't become a shock it's a habit. We need to take this time to establish good habits. So you need to go over things you did at the beginning of year 12 and you need to be reading ahead for year 13. There is a lot of things that you need to be doing. Make sure you have a clear list of what you need to know. For biology, chemistry and physics A levels you can get those from my website. Clearly taking through everything you need to know just like we had for GCSE. You need to constantly be going over topics, constantly be going over topics, so that when short questions come up, you have that embedded in there. The constant going over things, the constant going over short questions is really, really going to embed things in your long-term memory, and then we need to work on practicing skills things. Skills for your calculations, skills for your extended response answers, skills for looking at exam questions and breaking down what exactly needs to go in there. And then we need to be thinking about skills for practical questions as well, making sure you can get all the marks on those. Spend this time preparing for year 13 as much as you can. And when I'm talking about developing habits, I'm talking about developing habits that are going to be good for you as well. Making sure that you take time to have breakfast every day. Making sure you take time to get out of the house every single day. Making sure that your study space is clear and well lit and a good temperature so that you're not distracted by things. Taking time to make sure that when you sit down to study you have everything ready and you're doing it in short chunks and then taking breaks. All of these are habits we need to get in place for year 13. I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way and I promise lots and lots of A-level content is going to be coming very, very shortly. Ouch. Mm, I'll be too